nocturnal landscape in watercolors. What that means nocturnal? But let me start already working here a little bit. Um, nocturnal means that the artist, in this case you, you will paint the landscape during the night time. Like the landscape image that you have here. You see the photograph taken. So what I first have to do, I have to pick up the piece of paper and I would say a little bit heavier. So watercolor paper would be fantastic choice if you have it. When not, use the medium heavy paper. Ask your parents for it. Okay, it should be white because with white color, let me see, I just still move it a little bit further because I really want you to see the whole process. And I want you to have the nice frames here, right? So once the painting will be completed and dry, when you pick up the masking tape, or remove it, then you will notice that you will have a nice, nice edges, white edges. So let us start. So this is our image here. And all what we need to have, we have to decide approximately for position of the ground. So I will make one, one line here for the ground. Then I will leave the trees the way they are not touching. Me. I will just work on the sky and the ground. So you, as you can see here, we have a nice combination of the colors. We have blue, we have purple moving towards almost like a blackish color. And then we have a black color here with beautiful fuchsia, I would say, uh, pinkish color uh, and we have similar color to it that's fine and also notice we have lots of lots of stars when it comes to the trees we can do them by using markers so what I will use not exactly markers I would use sharpie so that they will not disappear right when I will touch the ground with my fingers I need to have watercolors right now okay so here they are and I will start with the lightest pinkish color so I will use my color that I call alizarin crimson here, and I will using quite a bit of water. You see, I will distribute it, distribute the water here on the bottom part here, right? And remember, when there's a line or something what you don't like, right? You have always the paper towel and very fast go with it on the top, right? To remove access of the water. So here we are. I want to leave a little bit of the lighter space over there, but here certainly, like you see, even when I have this color, dark color here, I can go with on the top with my with my pinkish color and then I can easily turn it towards the darker color. So remember with watercolors, you always start working with the lightest, lightest colors, right? Okay, here, always the lightest first, okay? So here we are. I would still spread it a little bit more here, right? You see, touch here touch there let's see I even here will apply the scala and when you look here you just have to now trust me <laughs> that I will recreate more or less this image okay so here we are now the next step will be I want to use some of the blue I have my blue in my set here of yarn cupcakes. They are fantastic. You see, I have this beautiful blue color and I'm going here. That's a very cool blue called Taylor blue, right? So I don't want to use too much of it here. And it's not exactly like the color over there, but that's okay, right? I can some simply make it slightly lighter even like you see and mix it nicely with the color with the other color by applying by applying uh, some patches of the my paper towel on the top now i want to use a little bit of the purple color and the purple helps those colors nicely blend together you see so we will not see even you see the blood's coming here we will not even see that there was a pink color because everything will turn towards the dark kind of bluish bluish um purplish color so we are going here with the color again lots of lots of water here notice lots of lots of lots of lots of water right i'm going here like this you see i don't want to have it perfectly even yeah coming here with this dark color and i also have to think about the stand right and when you look at the land here not the stand see how dark it is well it is a silhouette right so here we go see i will be going here very much see and then i'm placing it here that's good see but i don't want to have those lines i'm going here like this and i'm spreading everything oh la la that's good 
Now, I still want to have a little bit darker colors coming here. And I want to have the colors coming here. See, a little bit darker still. Uh -huh. And you know what? I think that I would turn off my light. It's a little bit too strong here. I think. I think so. Okay, good. So what I have here... See, I have those colors applied nicely here around. Good. I'm going here. And I'm going here. Fantastic. Now I can go to the ground. So I'm using a mixture of black and purplish color here. And some brown, if you notice, right? So here. This will be my ground. A little bit more. See, and then I don't want to have it not this here, it's not perfectly even, so I also don't make it perfectly even. I even use more purple and more of the blue, and I'm going here on the top. Actually, I will move it here. My instruments, my paint here will come, so definitely here. Good, the ground is here. Now, I will make something what you will be very surprised, and that will be. I will apply some of the paint, white paint, onto this container and then with the small brush I can create some dots here representing the stars, right? Like here, 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 here. But I don't think that takes me too much time. So what I want to do, I just want to cover the place where I have actually I can even paint it later so no I will leave it okay so what I want to do I want to spray some of the paint on top of my sky see so here I'm coming boom 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 see again a little bit more of it see and that will look so good I still think I have to put more that's not enough of paint so we go here see oh la la that came quite a big star but that's okay that's okay our start will be quite big here okay not beautiful stars okay now what i can do i can also come believe me or not with the toothbrush and just remember there has to be an old toothbrush you can't use it for anything else right but painting no nothing else okay so that will be our sky and then what we will be doing is we will be now painting the trees. Now, if you think that it would be easier for you uh, to draw them, I certainly would do that. Okay, so you will, you will take your marker here and with the marker, you will create the tree. This is still a little bit wet, so we can. So I will use, no. So I will use here the brush because I don't have choice so I would go here with the brush and I would create my tree don't make it too tall remember trees always the trunk is always heavier on the bottom right so I'm dipping my brushes in black or brush in the black but I also mix it with a little bit of purple and then I'm coming here you see here but here here okay and then another one coming here Another one here, another here, 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 and a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, I have my branches, then I can put, and I make it slightly differently. I want to make sure that I really see leaves, okay? So I can place them, and I can use dark black, uh, black and a little bit of green, you see, and just dab it here unevenly, right? But you see, like here. Yeah this and like this okay I'm still going here a little bit more here see a little bit of it here that's not enough it's still we need to have more a little bit more you see it's getting better the more time we have the better the image will look like right not as here not as how I keep my brush <laughs> really like a chopstick almost right so you see here and it's a little bit here a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there a little bit there you see and i will have my nice nice set of trees here 
okay so you see here I decide I decide how they will look like this one is small you see my trees are here they will be connected here some place I can connect them some I still want to see a little bit of sky coming through right very very important right you see and that will be my very very beautiful let's see maybe a little bit darker here so that means I use just purely purple here and I make this this branches right and so small leaves a little bit here and there okay good so that's our painting guys i hope that you enjoyed the process and see you next time